There are some serious problems with TikTok and how record labels are looking at TikTok and what that is doing to songwriters and artists and bands. But something has happened in the past week that has made me a lot more optimistic about this whole situation. So let's talk about it. Now, I've wanted to make this video for a while, and it's a conversation that I've had with a lot of my clients for probably a year, year and a half now. TikTok has brainwashed songwriters and artists into thinking they need to write a certain sort of way in order to get uh, noticed, in order to get traction, in order to get a deal. Uh, and this has resulted in significantly worse music. But we got to back way up in order for all of this to make sense. There's two big things that we have to talk about in order for this whole thing to make sense. And the first thing is how record labels used to work. Now, way back in the day, record labels would find a talent, an artist, a band, a singer, a whatever. And it didn't matter how popular they were. It didn't matter how well known they were. They would find these incredible talents and they would invest into them. They would invest money and time into them, and sometimes millions of dollars across many years in order to build them up into something that was really special. This is how the record industry worked for the longest time. Now, eventually the A&Rs that work for these record labels begin to look in a different direction. Instead of looking for completely undiscovered talent that they would then have to cultivate from the ground up, and a lot of times it didn't work because these artists weren't didn't have it together enough to become massively successful, these A&Rs started looking to moderately successful independent artists. How many tickets could you sell? Like butts in seats, beers in hand. That was kind of the metric. And so they begin looking for artists and bands who had built a following and were on their way to success already. And the record label would come in and they would give them a massive boost, a massive investment. They would hook them up with great producers. They would put them on the right tours. And the record labels were still hugely responsible for catapulting these artists. But the artists had done the groundwork first. Now, fast forward to today. Nearly the only thing that just about every record label cares about is what are your TikTok numbers? And this has become a very frustrating thing to me and my clients because there's just about zero attention paid to how good are your songs, how good can you perform, how many shows have you even played. None of that matters anymore. The only thing that matters right now is what kind of numbers are you doing on TikTok? Are you going viral? Yes, let's get you. Now, I have some actual friends who have went massively viral on TikTok and have got incredible deals. I've had a handful of clients do pretty well on TikTok uh, and solidify their career because of going viral on TikTok. So this was all fine and well in the beginning of TikTok, but there is a problem with this, and that is every social media platform in the beginning starts off giving people loads of traction. They put them in front of boatloads of people. And what this does is this entices more people to get on the platform because they see, oh, well, this person is going viral left and right. I, I need to get on TikTok and, and get a piece of that viralness, virality. Every platform does this. MySpace did it, Facebook did it, TikTok did it, Twitter did it, uh, Instagram did it. They all do this. But what happens is eventually, as the platform starts to explode, they start shifting the platform into a money-making model, a profit-making model. And it becomes harder and harder to go viral on these platforms the longer the platform is around. This happens like clockwork with every single platform. If you get on early, you have a massive advantage advantage of going viral. And if you're on late, you're probably not going to be able to pull it off. TikTok is now in their profit model of the whole thing. And this means that it is harder than ever before to go viral on TikTok. And herein lies the real problem because the record labels still only care about your TikTok numbers. They don't care about butts and seats, beers and hands. They don't care that you could go to Boise, Idaho and put 200 people in a, in a theater or in a club every single time without fail. They want to know how many hundreds of thousands or millions of views you're getting on TikTok. That's the only thing that they care about. But now it's harder than ever to go viral on TikTok. So now what I'm seeing with many of my clients and what I'm seeing around town and in the industry is that artists and bands spend 
as much time trying to figure out how to go viral on TikTok as they do writing songs. And what this means is there is far less energy going into writing the song. And when there is energy going into writing the song, there's always this thing, this little devil on the shoulder saying, hey, maybe you should include a line in this song that will help you go viral on TikTok. Hey, maybe we should structure this song in a way to grab people's attention on TikTok. And so a lot of the songwriting that is happening now is for sound bites for TikTok to attempt to go viral. All of this put together means that TikTok and the way record labels are handling TikTok with artists is making music worse. It's really a thing that is happening in a big way right now. And this has been very frustrating to me because I sit right here or now here on this couch and, and we have these conversations. I have these conversations with my clients and my conversations are now equally about the state of the industry and the state of TikTok as it is how do we make the best music. But I get it because that's the only way that they can get ahead right now. That is the game at the moment. So this has been very frustrating to me and I've wanted to make this video for a while but I didn't really want to just get on here and complain about the state of the music industry. That doesn't do anyone any good. I need to have a solution to offer people in order for it to be worth me making a video about. Now the music that does go viral on TikTok is of a huge variety. Some of it is very good and some of it is really awful. But music is subjective and music is art and art is subjective. And so just because I think something's really terrible doesn't necessarily mean it's terrible. But something happened six days ago that gave me such hope for this situation that we're in. And that something is Oliver Anthony. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay so I can sit out here and waste my life away. Now I'll drop a link down below to that music video so you can go check the song out if you want. That song has 12 million views in six days on YouTube and it's the only thing that I'm seeing on TikTok. Every fourth TikTok is this guy singing this song. But what's interesting about this song is it was clearly not written for TikTok. It was clearly not manufactured for the sake of going viral. What it is, is a good song that resonated with a ton of people. A song that had a, a message that resonated with a ton of people. And that's why this gave me such hope because this guy wasn't trying to go viral on TikTok. I don't think, I don't know him, but I really don't think he was. He wrote a song from the heart about his life and his life experiences, and it resonated with tons of people. And that, that is what I was waiting for in order to make this video, because I think that's the way out of this. We have to get back to putting the music first. The song has to be first not going viral on TikTok, not making a music video that has visuals that have the potential to go viral on TikTok, not music for the sake of going viral on TikTok so we can get a record deal, the song. Because all this stuff comes and goes. MySpace came and went, Facebook is over the hill, Instagram is definitely past its peak. And I think TikTok's usefulness is past its peak, although this stuff is still happening. This guy has went massively viral. But I think the only common thread, the only for sure thing that we can do is just make the best music possible. Music that resonates with people, music that has a message, whatever that message is. Now what Oliver Anthony reminded me of is if we focus on the music, if we always put out the very best music that we can possibly put out, then sometimes the rest of the stuff, the viral moments and the record deals and all of the stuff can happen. But if all we're doing is chasing a viral moment, if all we're doing is trying to go viral on TikTok, I just don't think our chances are that great. We've got to focus on the music. So that's a little behind the scenes look of what's happening in the music industry at the moment. I'll drop a link to that song down below so you can go check it out. It doesn't matter if you like the song. It doesn't matter if you agree with the message or the story. All that matters is that it resonated with people and I think that we 
should be trying to do the same. In addition to that video being linked down below, I'll link down below everything else that I use, all the gear that I use and everything else. Those links go to Sweetwater. Sweetwater is sponsoring this video. Uh, I've been getting all my gear there for a long time. So anytime you guys need any piece of gear, you can jump on any one of my videos, click on any one of the links and purchase anything that you need. And it goes a long ways to help support this channel. And I really appreciate it. it costs you nothing extra. Thank you, Sweetwater, for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe if you, if you enjoyed this one. And leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. But I appreciate each and every one of you being here. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.